Hello everybody, welcome to this new section of the Python course. Um, many people took the course and many people built the job scraper and we all had fun and it was great. But now on this section, we are going to make it even better. We are going to make it bigger and more useful. So what are we going to do on this section? What we're going to do is we are going to take our scraper and we are going to put the scraper inside of a web server. All right. And basically we're going to make a website where anybody can go and they can type Python or Go or Java. And we are going to look for the jobs that they want, but based on the word. So our scraper is not only going to look for Python jobs, our scraper is going to look for Java, Go, React, whatever job we put on the form. So we're going to make a website, we're going to make a form. So basically a search box where you type the job you want, you hit search. And instead of making a CSV file, what we're going to do is to show the results on the website right there. So people don't have to download anything. And if they want to download something, we can also give them a download button where we are going to send them this file. All right. So as you can see, it's a very big extension, but it's going to be so much fun. And the reason why I'm making this extension is because we just launched a new challenge in our challenges that You can join the Python challenge right now where we are going to build many tiny scraping and web server projects using Python. So go and check it out. All right. So what are we going to use to accomplish this goal of extending our website? What we're going to do is use Flask. Flask is a micro framework. Basically, it allows you to make websites with Python. Okay but it's micro. It means that it doesn't have many um, extra stuff to configure, extra features. It has the basics to make a website, which is what we want to do. All right. So get ready and see you in the next one. But before, what I want you to do is create a new REPL it. We're going to stay working on REPL it because it's easier for everybody. So you're going to click new REPL and then you're going to click Python and here we're going to name it whatever you want. Super scraper. All right. And we're done. And once that's created, that's it. I will see you in the next one where we are going to install Flask and do a bunch of stuff. Bye bye.